Welcome to CJ Winner How To Video Series. Here at CJ Winner, we provide better tools, fast delivery, great service and value. As the known resource in thread rolling dies, attachments and tooling for the screw machine industry, we recognize the importance of producing first-rate quality products. Superior products that deliver the outstanding performance you need and deserve in today's competitive marketplace. But a quality product is only beneficial if it's backed by proper setup and installation. In realizing this, we have developed the following program. A program that combines our expertise and experience to allow you to obtain the most from your winter attachment. The guidelines set forth in this program are not intended to be complete and do not cover every possible condition associated with the safe usage of your attachment. For more detailed information, please refer to the instruction manual supplied with your attachment. Before you begin setting up your attachment, read your instruction manual thoroughly. This will help you to fully understand your attachment's application and prevent costly errors or accidents. While reading, pay close attention to Section 5, particularly the thread rolling capacity and reference data charts. These charts are individually designed for each attachment and contain vital information that's critical to the success of your attachment's installation. In the first column of the chart, locate the thread size you plan to roll. Next, the starts and outside diameter columns refer to the diameter of the thread roll and as the dimension in which the remainder of the information on the chart is based. The fourth column, maximum stock diameter, pertains to the largest diameter the attachment will clear when rolling that thread size. Because this dimension varies with each application, it must be checked each time the attachment set up for a specific application. If hex or other shape stock is used, be sure to calculate the dimension across the corners rather than using the stock size itself. The fifth column, blank diameter, refers to the recommended initial diameter which the blank should be shaved to before thread rolling. This recommended diameter is a starting point only. The sixth column, gauge setting, refers to the micrometer setting gauge dimension necessary to adjust the cross slide so that when in the full forward position, the attachment is properly positioned over the thread blank. Use of this gauge will be covered later in the program. The last three columns, wedge size, wedge roller diameter, and spring, will be covered later during the setup of your attachment. Before mounting your winter attachment, check the air pressure and volume of air at your machine. All attachments must have a steady source of clean, dry air that flows through a supply line of at least one half inch ID while maintaining a minimum pressure of 80 PSI. Operating the attachment with less than this amount can cause inconsistent thread size, damage the thread rolls, and harm the thread rolling attachment. Next, Check your machine's cross-slide travel. It must provide sufficient backward travel in order to clear the attachment during index or other adjacent tooling. For more information on this, refer to the machine application chart in section 5 of your manual. This chart will indicate whether or not increased cross-slide travel is necessary on your machine, and if so, how much. If your machine is not listed in the chart, refer to the factory for the required slide travel. At this time, also examine the mounting information and trip bracket assembly drawings in section five. Check for any machine modifications or special requirements that might be needed for proper installation. Please visit us at www.cjwinner.com for additional information.